is going on guys and welcome to episode 22 of the Chelsea Let's Play series and my oh my, I wish I had changed my mind about recording. It is the second leg of the Champions League against Real Madrid and well if you've already looked in the top right hand corner you will know the first leg went rather well. Let's not beat around the bush, let's get straight into it. A 2-0 win at home against Real Madrid, something I was not expecting. We actually changed tactic for this one. We played a defensive midfielder instead of an attacking midfielder. Played a slightly different system as well. We played a tiki-taka and, well, it was superb, really. There's no other words for it. If we watch the goals from this one, Mason Mount and Willian on the score sheet. Mason Mount is in a superb form at the moment. But as you can see, free kick initially from Mount headed away, but Kante does really well, and Mount bends one into the far corner past Courtois. And then shortly after half-time, we grabbed a second. Hakimi with the ball in and crosses block, falls to Willian and he lashes home and has given us a two-goal advantage to take to Madrid. Absolute scenes. And then in our other game, most recently, the start of our four games in a week, we won 2-0 at Sheffield United. Two same goal scorers, Mason Mount again on the score sheet, Willian with the second. And World Today is a make or break episode. We could reach the Champions League final and our Premier League future, not necessarily future, destiny, that's probably the better word, may be found out. If we have a look at the Premier League table, three teams sit on 79 points, but we have a game in hand on the teams above us, even two games in hand against Liverpool. But beating Man City is going to be a monumental task but let's not hang around. I am excited to bring this to you. Let's get into it. So we revert to our normal formation for our trip to Madrid. And this is the team that is going to get there. So Kepper in goal. Hakimi and Emerson at full backs. Ampadu and Christensen at centre half. Kovacic and Mason Mount in the middle of midfield. Despite Mount playing the ball winning role, he has been superb. William on the right, Hudson Odoi on the left. Zaniolo at number 10 and Dembele up top. I'm slightly nervous in all honesty, moving into this one. But move into it, we shall. And, well, Real Madrid are going to have to come at us with everything. And the side they have at their disposal is a pretty stacked one. Jovic leading the line for them. But I am going to say to the boys, pick up where you left off last time. And here we go, the game begins. We are 90 minutes away, potentially, from a Champions League final as we have the first highlight. Mount swings in the corner. It's headed away. But Ampadu collects. Emerson will get there ahead of Brozovic. Down the line, hudson Odoi inside. Zaniolo challenged. And well, Casemiro comes away with the ball. Bale now on this right-hand side. Ball up to Jovic. Does well to head it on to Hazard. He's going to burst through the middle. The former Chelsea man and Kepa has had an absolute mare. And in, well, four minutes in, this game is certainly livening up. We'll see it in three dimensions. A really good heather, heather? header from Jovic. Hazard just runs straight through. And Kepa, my word. It was the tail end of last season that Kepa started having a bit of a man. It looks like history may well be repeating itself. I say to the boys, show some passion. And again, Real Madrid may look to come forward. Only 10 minutes gone in this game. But they are looking dominant. They are looking in a mean mood. They lost to Malaga in the league before this game as well. Dembele is in behind. Can he get the away goal? He does and he shoots straight at Courtois. And the away goal in this game would be massive. Mount is going to swing the corner in. Aims for the near post but it's gone through everyone. Zaniolo collects. Can he get the ball back in? Christensen peters out. But it's us to come forward again. Ampadu with the free kick. Saniolo, good ball out to William. He gets by his man, drives his side. The save from Courtois does well to push it so far away. Hudson Odoi gets past about three men, but his pass is loose and it's cut out. What a fast paced start we have had to this game. Just need to calm things down a little bit. Throw in Real Madrid, Casemiro back to Mendy. They look to come forward. We've done well to pressure them out, and Zaniolo does well to win the ball back. We're dicking around with it in the back, though. Audrey Zola. Can we get on that? We do. Mason Mount does really well. Burst down the left hand side, draws the tackle for Varane, but the French centre half does well. Long ball over the top, and Jovic is in behind Luki Jovic, and Kepper just about manages to turn it around the post. 
We are living life on the edge. Bail at the near post, but his header is wild. Half time rolls around, and I have said to the boys that I am not happy with how this match has gone so far. We just need one goal, and then I would make us favourites to go through that cliche that you so often see in FM, but it is true. And well, Bale looks for Hazard, but we managed to intercept. Is there going to be a chance at the start of this half? Hakimi, good ball down the line to Willian. A lot of space to run into. Willian is shot. Doesn't threaten the goal. Okay, ball forward. Zaniolo gets on the end of it. We have made a change. Kovacic, Zaniolo plays in. Willian, oh, the shot saved by Quartara. It's a good save. We've brought on Sammy Abraham for Dembele, and I think I might make another change. Kante has been brought on. Hopefully that defensive steal. We've pushed Mount out onto the left-hand side where he's been so dangerous for us. Time ticks away. And it may be worth looking at another change. Zaniolo hasn't had the best game, so we'll bring on Miljevic. He scored a superb solo goal to get us to this point. But Real Madrid come forward. Jovic down the line. Coman gets to the byline. Back to Hazard and his header. Just wide, my God. Into the last 10, and I, I am certainly nervous. Hudson has always picked up a knock, but the time is ticking down into injury time. Just over a minute to go. Well, Hakimi long ball forward, and there's a mix up. <laughs> That's Harry Abraham. Oh, I think it's going to be offside. Oh, how cruel. What a way that would have been to seal passage to the final. Just over 30 seconds to go. Ramos going to lump it long. No, instead plays to Varane. And they go backwards. It needs to be now for Real Madrid. Just over 20 seconds, but they're messing around with it. At the back, good ball out though to Coman. Valverde breaks forward. Vinicius Jr. shot straight at Kepa. Right, we're sweating it out. Cautious. Do all the team instructions. Right, um, no, no, no. I quite often do this if we're under pressure late on. Right. Here we go then. This is surely going to be the last chance. Cruz corner in. Andrea Zola is there. There's a goal mouth scramble. And Kepa managed to get his hands on it. And surely that is going to be it. If, that, if they'd have scored a goal there, I would have been in uproar. We've done it. We're in the final. Absolute scenes. What a way to do it. We've lost. I'm still going to say to the boys, I'm not happy. But we have done it. We are in the Champions League final. Qua. <laughs> I'm shaking. I am I'm panting. I'm shaking. My heart rate's probably gone up an unhealthy amount. Oh my word. Right. Well, the first leg between Liverpool and Lazio was nil nil. So Liverpool have to go to Rome and get a result. Oh right, we will find out sooner rather than later. Well, we've got the Man City game in two days. We'll know then who our Champions League final opponents are going to be. Right. Calm, composed, we'll move on to City. Okay. Game day number two against City. We will talk about Champions League opposition in a moment. But, as you would expect, the number of games in such a short amount of time is taking its toll on the players. We have injury suspensions and players not quite fully fit. So, a bit of a rotator side against ahead of a trip to City is not ideal. But guess who we are playing in the Champions League final? We are playing Lazio. They managed well, absolute seeds. They scored a winner in the hundred and twentieth minute plus two. Liverpool went down to ten men and in injury time at the end of extra time, Lazio scored a winner. And well, Chelsea versus Lazio is going to be the Champions League final. And I am quietly confident ahead of that. But we will deal with that at a later date. We have a trip to City to deal with. And this is going to be massive in the context of the Premier League season. Three teams, all level on 79 points. A game in hand on Man United. We need at least a point in this game. If we want this to continue to be in our own hands. We play United soon. But yeah, if we want this to be in our own hands, we need at least a point from this trip to City. And this is the team we are going with. Kepper is going to be in goal. Hakimi and Emerson at full-backs. Ampadu and Christensen at centre-half. Kovacic and Mount in midfield. But in the attacking lineup is where the attacking trio... What? Just... 
the forward players. That's where the changes are. Willian on the right. Grealish comes in on the left. Miljevic in the number 10 role. And Dembele up top. If ever there was a time for Dembele to truly hit form, it's now. We need a big performance from him today. City side, not as different as you might expect. Laporte out on the left. Ruben Diaz, the only real addition. Foden playing, but sitting deeper. Right. Show me what we can do to keep our run going. We've had a, a couple of... Before a few games. Right, okay, sorry. I got uh, distracted by questions. I completely forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, no, it's gone. <laughs> that was good. Highlight of the game. 20 minutes in. It looks like it's going to go our way. Kovacic burst past his man. Gets into the area and Kovacic scores. On the one. <laughs> it's a goal befitting of the man, really. He has come on leaps and bounds. The best player in this Chelsea side, without question. And, well, he's just scored a goal befitting of a world-class player. Burst pass, I think it was Rodri. And from the tightest of angles, he has absolutely lashed one. Edison can only get hands to it, but can't keep it out. Jesus, what a goal that was. Walker to Rodri. And a good ball up to Aguero. Keeps it in really well, but Christensen is there. Miljevic, ball over the top. Dembele, he's in behind. Oh, almost a goal. Forces a really good save. Out of Edison. I think it was offside anyway. Kovacic free kick. Aims. Oh, bloody hell. It was pinball in the area. And Dembele it fell to. He's lashed it over. We've made a good start to this game. But we know how good City are. Long ball up top. Guerrero somehow manages to win the header. Across to Sterling. He's in behind now. Raheem Sterling. And it's a goal for City. 21 for the season for Sterling. He drew the keeper out. But somehow managed to get it underneath him. I want to know, I mean, Ampadu's not exactly the tallest, but it's still disappointing that Aguero is winning headers. Yeah, Sterling right towards goal, and Kepa, the questionable goalkeeping again, but a highlight after the goal. Show some passion, boy. We made a good start to this game. Let's capitalise on that. Mount Emerson plays the ball over the top, and Dembele just about doesn't get there. But City play it around the back confidently as they do. Edison launches one. Sterling keeps it in, but we pick up. And no, Emerson, that is a loose touch inside. Aguero shoots, tries to place it in the corner, but slides it past the post. Half time is bid and gone. And the first highlight of the second half, 10 minutes into it or so. We play it out from the back. Akimi cheaply loses the ball to Phil Foden. But thankfully for us, City go backwards rather than forwards. But they play it around nicely. Aguero in behind. And well, draws the keeper out. But luckily for us, slots it wide once again. Okay, highlight. 20 minutes to go. And it's going to be us. Emerson with the throw in. Miljevic. Going to get a ball in, Emerson. Back to Miljevic. Mount. Then Bele. Hudson Adoy on as a substitute. And he scored the 10th goal of the season for Hudson Adoy. And we are back in front at the Etihad. What a goal. A really lovely work goal from the throw-in and the substitute. Carrying a pretty big knock. But Grealish was anonymous in this game. And hudson Adoy, well, it falls nicely. Dembele attempted the shot. hudson Adoy, it falls to. He slots it in. And we lead once again. What a win, boys. Nothing else happened after the goal. And, well, it's just... Absolutely superb win. 2 1 it finishes. We've sealed Champions League football for next year, but what I am more concerned about is that we have extended our lead at the top once again. Look at that now. Back on top. Three points clear once again. Level on games with Man United. Played a game more than Liverpool and City. It is hotting up. Three games left of the season Everton, United, and Bournemouth. What a run we are going to have. I think. For the next episode, I mean, we can't, depending on, if we win, we go to 85, we'll be six points clear. Right, I don't think we can win it the next step in the next game. So, what we will do is we will skip the Everton game, and then we will come back for United and Bournemouth to finish off the season. And then Lazio will be the last game of the series. My word, what an episode this has been, emotionally exhausting <laughs> but all the right emotions we're in the Champions League final we a big win away at the Etihad I hope you enjoyed that I certainly did if you have pop a like on there for me subscribe to the channel and I'll see you to wrap up the Premier League season